does. But Gazelle here is a Lana Falcon. He's a male Lana Falcon. So you'll notice that probably would have done if you haven't already. Oh, you don't want the bag as well. This is a good start, buddy. That he is smaller um, than the female. And we have a female on the hawk hawk. We have a juvenile female. Now, aside from the size difference, she's different in her colour as well. Um, she's sort of very light in her colour. She's almost got spots of brown. Ooh, little mix. Um, people often ask us, what's the hardest part about your job? You know, doing demonstrations must be so difficult because there's many things we have to do. We have to watch the birds. We have to see what they're doing. We have to talk to you lovely people. And as much as I love you all, it's not easy. Um, and then we have to consider factors such as wind direction, etc. But the hardest part is not saying what we're actually thinking. That's the hardest part. So you hear us say sausage, meats, what's it, what's it's a good one? Um, to make sure that we don't slip up on demo. Thankfully for you, the boss isn't here today, so there'll be no swearing, or non-intentional swearing anyway. So he goes off and builds height, and this is quite common of Gazelle. It's very uncommon for him to sit in a tree, but he is a little bit higher in his weight today. Um, and it is a fine balance. There is a fine balance and a fine art to what we do with the birds. Effectively, we have finely tuned athletes, if you like. Um, and what we have to do is try and have them at the heaviest weight possible. We don't want them thin. Um, what we want them to be is to be at a weight where we can fly them manageably, know that we have an element of control. I don't have control over him right now. He's pretty much doing the demo next tour. Um, so I do hope you've enjoyed the glimpse of the backside that you saw of him. Um, now this is going to be tricky because he's gone off and he's going to come in and, <laughs> and he's going to go away. Uh, <laughs> thanks buddy, you're really, really doing a good job today and completely making me look like a fool. Um, people often ask us what it's like to fly the bird um, and their temperaments as well. And I often refer them to three-year-olds because <laughs> You know when you're at home and they're as good as gold, you go, brilliant, okay. Well, we'll go swimming tomorrow, as long as you remain good. And then you take them out, and then they're just devil reincarnated. <laughs> thought, it's not the child that I had yesterday. And it's exactly the same with the birds. You can fly them off demonstration and they're as good as gold. The minute you get an audience in front of them, they go, right, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to fly around in circles and make you super dizzy and just make you look very silly. But right now what he's doing is <coughs> just making life very difficult for me. I'm not kidding, I am very dizzy. But this is exactly what he wants to do in the wild. Because he goes up, builds height, gets speed and stoops down in front of them or on top of them in the hope that he can catch them. Now, Lana Falcons will probably be hunting birds. It's not beyond them to hunt small mammals, reptiles, insects. But imagine he's exerting a great deal of energy, as am I. <coughs> so, he wants to be able to catch the highest prey item in terms of energy possible. Now, you can see He's coming in now, sticking really tight, really making me work for my money. So the minute I've got him in the right position, I'm going to let him have the lure. Now this, it's hard. We have to anticipate where they are, where they're going to be before they do it. And if you fly a bird like Gazelle, who has the experience, you know those footballers that will put their foot over the ball and sort of twist it the other way and that's exactly what we have with him but it just goes to show you what formidable predators they are <whistles> hey up there good boy oh give him a round of applause i can catch my breath <laughs> i never worry about going to the gym because this is my fitness and in a minute i'm going to do some weightlifting for you and you'll see what I mean by when I bring the bird down for you. So, we have here a bird. He's worked really hard, caught his prey. 
He's done a brilliant job. And all through this demonstration, and all through every demonstration we do for you, is to show you, give you an example of how the birds fly, what they do in the wild, what they're designed to do. So this potentially is the only part that isn't, uh, if you like, a natural behaviour. Because he sat on the floor, he sat in the open. Now, if he did this in the wild, he'd likely get munched by something or something would take his dinner off of him that he's worked so hard for. He'd naturally want to go and sit under a hedge or in a tree and feed on his dinner. So this is a part, and you'll see with every falcon that we fly, we'll do this. So he's caught it, I've let him start eating it. The lure is made up of a set of magpie rings that magpie